It's been two weeks since the general election and in this region we returned five brand new MPs and over the last 14 days they've been familiarising themselves with the House of Commons. The new intake included the Corby MP Tom Persglove who along with all his other colleagues have been sworn in this week. They've also been trying to find offices ahead of the first proper day of parliamentary business, the Queen's speech next Wednesday. One of those new MPs is with me now, the Conservative Heidi Allen, elected in South Cambridgeshire. Heidi, thank you very much for, for joining us. What are your first impressions then of, of the last you know, two weeks? Um, the first thing, overwhelmingly organised, um, very welcoming and incredibly friendly. I had visions of being sort of dropped into Westminster and told, go off and find an office and good luck. But actually nothing could have been further than the truth. It's been fantastic, the induction programme. Now, what made you want to become an MP? Um, and like a lot of colleagues that I've met who've kind of wanted to do this in their careers for a long time, it had never occurred to me. It was the 2011, the London riots in Tottenham, that sort of um, shook me out of my comfort zone. There I was running my own company, um, and suddenly my beloved country appeared to be falling apart before my very eyes, and um, I felt I had to do something. And that, that being so, what is your top priority now you've been elected? Um, I suppose it's, it's twofold. One, I need to understand the process and the way that things operate in Westminster to get things done in practical terms. In South Cams, my list gets longer <laughs> with every day that passes. We've got to get a grip on our um, underfunding for our schools and the housing um, issue with affordability here is just it's a ticking time bomb and we need to deal with that straight away. So there's th some of the things that I want to deal with locally that I'm hoping I can make um, inroads into regardless of Westminster. Actually, there are things that I can do here. MPs don't have the, the greatest of image no. at the moment. How do you overturn that image and combat it? Um, action speaking louder than words. It does feel cruel. I'm new to politics and I would expect like any new job to come in at sort of point zero and do well or badly. But actually I'm coming in at probably minus ten because of that perception. So I have to make sure I deliver on promises, be um, direct and honest with people, communicate with them and show that actually we can be different. Now 29% of the new intake are women there's an increase in the number of ethnic minority mm -hmm. um, MPs well, as well. Is there a feeling at Westminster that the image of politics is changing? I think definitely. There's, um, there seems to be a real kind of energy and a hunger and a new brigade coming in that are perhaps more reflective of general society and we're determined to get in there and work as a team and change things and you can really feel it, it's palpable actually. And the next few days for you then, and before the Queen's speech, what will that involve? Um, being home in South Cams, which I'm so pleased about. I don't actually have to go into Westminster for a couple of days now. Um, so I can concentrate on um, getting on with my team in Hardwick, where the association, the constituency office is based. Um, there's a lot of casework coming in already. Lots of people need my help with things, so I can really get my, uh, my teeth stuck into that. And if there's one thing you want to achieve over the next five years, what will that be? Sort out affordability of housing here. It's fundamentally. We risk this economic powerhouse that is South Cams and the Cambridgeshire region. We're going to self-implode if we're not careful. Heidi Allen, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.